everyone welcome back haul video today it's my first haul of 2021 um so this was using my christmas money that was kindly given to me by family members um so it's guilt-free spending which i love um so we'll pop that out of the way so i'll show you the first thing that i got which was this Start to 2021, I definitely need a planner. So this is Johanna Basford's 2021 weekly colouring planner. And it's beautiful ring bound. It's quite thick as well. I'm not sure if this is colourable actually. It feels like it could be colourable if you wanted to colour the front cover. So I'll just open it up and inside you can see that on the front like title page it has a little illustration here to colour inside you have the publishing information and your calendar for the year and then this is what the layout looks like so you've got your um, days of the week a space for each one a row for each day and then on the left hand side you've got a little picture to colour which is really sweet So another one, I have already written some family members' birthdays in here, have to write them all down, there's that many of us, um, yeah, I think this illustration's from um, Ivy and the Inca Butterfly, so yeah, it's a mixture of images, but they're really sweet, they're a really nice size if you wanted to just, you know, sit down and just colour one of these little ones, well actually looking through your diary. Putting all them appointments in that, and all them places we want to go where we can't go. <laughs> I expect this will just be full of um, YouTube ideas um, for the channel. But yeah, really, really cute. I mean, I'm not going to flip page by page, but you can see that it follows this layout throughout the whole book where you have a page um, to colour on every single left hand side so really happy with that i did need a new diary going into 2021 so that was that so the next thing that i got was a little supply and i found this on amazon now this is a pack of um imitation leaf flakes so there's gold leaf flakes you get two of in this pack you get a rose gold and you get a silver now I do need to get myself some better glue for putting this on with but um, I will just get a piece of paper and show you what it goes down with with my little Nouveau glue pen that I've got but ideally you need some proper, you know, some Mod Podge or something like that to get it on um, better. So I'll just get a piece of paper. There we go. So in this pack of four you do get a little pair of tweezers as well. I'll just take all the colours out of this very noisy pack. And you do get a lot inside these as well. I mean the full to the brim. Um, I'll show you the rose gold first. So you just take the lid off and you can see all that shininess. Now these you can use in all sorts of crafts. You can use them for making, for card making, for journaling, um, for any sort of crafts, um, resin. You can put them into resin. So the real versatile. You can rip little pieces, tear little pieces if you want something smaller than what you've got. So I'm just gonna stick a bit of glue down there. Then we can put a few flakes down. I'll try and get some little ones but <laughs> might not work out so you could put these on a colouring page you could put some randomly in a background which would be quite nice for a background idea which is something I would probably do that so you can see how that one goes down it is a bit of fiddly you do have to be careful with it and ideally um, like I said a better glue this pen isn't quite enough to do something like this especially if you wanted to lay quite a lot down so that's the rose gold i'll just put some gold down at the side of pna 
so i will as always whoa look at that <laughs> that flew out the tub all that then but it's the full to the brim but yeah as ever i will put everything in the description of this video links so that if you're interested in any of this <gasps> that one's got stuck a bit if you're interested in anything that I show, it will all be there. These are really big pieces in here, actually. It is going to get, I'm going to rip a bit off. This is going to get stuck somewhere. Yeah, you definitely, definitely need a better glue. So I'll pop, try and get the lid back on that. It's bursting out of there. There's absolutely tons in that one. And the silver one's a bit easier to do. <laughs> so I'll just lay some more glue down here. I'll pop the silver on and then I'll hold it up to the um, camera a bit better than you can see the colours. So let's see what this one's like. It's going to bounce out, isn't it? <gasps> oh, this one's got a protector on. It's still... Oh, coming off. Oh, this is going to be a disaster, isn't it? Let's try and get some little pieces. I imagine this to be very fiddly. Right, let's try and get those pieces off. Now it's all stuck to my finger because... Let's get that off. I'll unravel it. I needed more glue on there, more glue. Oh, very messy. Very messy, Kirsty. Yeah, I think you need a bit of patience with that stuff if you're using it for a colouring page. I know I did see somebody's page on... Let me shake this off. I did see somebody's page on Instagram where they'd used it on something and it looked absolutely stunning when it was done, but it will take patience and it is a bit fiddly, so... Bear that in mind and now it's stuck all over my fingers so you'll have to deal with that, <laughs> that in the video now. It's really stuck all over me. So yeah, let's get them in the light. So that's them. Obviously your glue will dry clear if you've got something like a PVA glue. But yeah, I just thought it was something a bit different to add to my pages. Bit fiddly, bit messy, but I don't mind mess, it's fun, isn't it? So that's them little ones, which I will put the link in. That's your gold leaf, imitation gold leaf. So pop that out of the way, put the little cap back on my tweezers. Oh, clean that off after when I've more time to mess about with it. <laughs> So the next thing I went ahead and bought was these. So these are Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic Gel Pens. I have owned a set of these um, for a long time, but the, the darker set of colours, which are readily available on Amazon. If you type in Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic Gel Pens on Amazon, um, I think only the one set will come up, which are the ones I already have. These are the Mellow set. Now I purchased these off uh, somebody on Instagram under the Rowan trees. She's called on there and they arrived in good time. Um, didn't take long to arrive at all. And I have swatched these out already. But I will just open them up. Now I've not found a gel pen that are as shiny as go down or go down as um, nicely. As these oh, coming out a bit, the really juicy gel pens, they're not, they don't dry up. You don't have to shake them or rub them on a piece of paper because they've stopped coming out or anything like that. They're fabulous. So you get the seven colours in this set. Beautiful array, and I'll show you the swatches for them now. So these are the swatches, try and get it in the light. So we've got a light violet metallic red and blue, which is this one. 
we've got a silver, a metallic copper and green. We've got golden metallic red and gold, light pink and metallic green and gold, blue grey and metallic blue and silver, light green metallic and blue red and a turquoise green and metallic red and green. I probably went off camera a little bit there, but <laughs> you can see them shining there. Really, really pretty. Look at that. So if you want something to really shine on your page, these are by far the best ones I've found so far. So that's those ones. Let's pop those out the way. Now the next thing I got, I thought I'd take a gamble on. I'd had some distress inks that were drying up a bit and I didn't seem to have had them that long before they started drying up so I thought I'd try and switch to a different brand when I spotted these and see if they're any better so the one that I got was this one so it's an ink pad just like the distress inks um this is by Spe Spectrum Noir um the water reactive dyes these ones it says on the front um, the, they do have some that aren't water reactive as well so just make sure if you want it to be reactive that it says this on the front but yeah I did use these on a page on a live stream and they are very you know very pigmented they seem to be a, more pigmented than the distress inks that I had or the colours that I had this one was beautiful so this one is the plum jam colour so I'll just show you what that's like on the piece of paper I had at the side of me. So I'll just give it a few rubs. So you can see the colour there. It's a beautiful, beautiful colour. So if you want to add some more. So when it says water reactive, what it means by that is that you can do a little trick with it, so I'll show you. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I find that's dependent upon the paper because it worked fine on here for me and then when I did it in one of my colouring books, it didn't work. So I've just got a water brush and I'm going to squeeze some or splash some rather some water on here just like that and then I'm going to give it a few minutes and then I'm going to dab it I'm not going to rub I'm just going to dab it up because when you put water onto this it lifts the pigment up so it leaves you with an effect of white spots all over but yeah I just thought I'd try it out a different brand something a bit different from distress inks Spectrum Noir, Water Reactive Dyes, there's a whole array of different colours you can get. Amazon, again, they do sell this brush as well, their own style. Um, but I do prefer just using these. If you can hear it banging about, that's my toddlers. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to just dab that off with a tea towel now. So you can see that effect and that is lovely for backgrounds for a fun easy background in your colouring pages really really good so that's that one so i'll just lift you back out a bit there we go really really fun let's pop that out of the way so the next little uh supply i got was this this is Decoart Glamour Dust. Now you might have used the Decoart Americana paint, acrylic paints at some point. So this is the Decoart range, but it, it reminds me of the Glitter Mod Podge, but it's obviously pink. Look at that. You can see the cap. So I have just used this in a colouring page that I've done. So rather than 
just do a little sample on a piece of paper. I'll show you it on the colouring page that I completed. So you might have seen it on Instagram if you've been on my Instagram. So I used a little bit in the background and then I used it all here. So I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up, but it is very sparkly. You might be able to see down here a bit better. So it does leave like a rough texture on your page. It is really pretty, really, really pretty. You can see it shining there. But I love it. Absolutely love it. I'm going to look for more colours. Um, that was from Amazon as well. Really, really pretty. Glamour Dust. That one's called Ultra Fine Glitter Paint. This is Celebration Pink, the colour of this one. And the 59ml bottles, I think it was around £6 um, for that, if I remember rightly. But I'll drop all the links in again. So the background, you might notice, this brings me to the next item that I bought. The background of this page I did with these. Now, again, I got these off Amazon. This was the little um, tag on it. So these are natural seam synthetic sponges for artists, assorted sizes. Great for texturing, marbleizing, if that's what it says. <laughs> forks, forks, forks or four finishes, sponge painting, ceramics, craft projects and more. And I just thought it'd be really nice to do some backgrounds with these. So there's a whole host of different sizes, different textures really really lovely now i did use i think it was it was definitely this one it might have been this one and this one to do the background on here and then i just washed them in lukewarm water in the sink and all the paint came straight off so you can you know use them over and over again as, soon, as long as you wash them out straight away back to the good old self and i imagine they will last me quite a while for any sort of craft projects some of these have got little holes there, so that might create a nice texture if you dipped in paint and did it that way. But yeah, I just thought they were really, really, really nice. I love the feel of these as well. It's super, super tactile. So I'll have to get them back in the pack after. <laughs> so that was that. But you can see the texture it's created on the page. It's just a bit bit more fun adding to your colouring pages so next up I treated myself to some pencils so I'd wanted the monarchs the black widow monarchs since they first came out but at the time there was lots of different things that I wanted and they took priority over these to be honest but then I saw these for 16 pounds on Amazon they had a um, reduction in price and I thought I cannot pass them off for £16. So I did purchase them. I have been using them. So some of the pencils are shorter. But I really love them. I really am impressed so far. So they come in two trays. 48 pencils. Um, unlike the older sets of Black Widows, these ones have a colour on the end of the pencils so they are easily seen this time which is just, you know, so much better than the last set. <laughs> but yeah, they seem to be really, really nice. I was really enjoying them colouring in my colouring page with these. I have swatched them out as well. So I have the swatches here. Um, so it starts, it starts here. Black Widow Monarch. So we've got some nice grey tones. I did use the shadow and the gum metal to do some metal, um, some rusty type metal on the colouring page. Turned out really, really nice. But these are the swatches running all down here. And on the other side of the page as well. So there is some really, really nice tones in there. So I'm looking forward to having another go on another colouring page. But yeah, impressed with those so far. 
really nice a really nice array of colors for 48 colors in there you've got a nice selection so that was the black with our monarchs so the next things that i got what did i get <laughs> i got this so this is the strathmore torn tanned mixed media paper I do already own some Strathmore paper, but it's the sketch pad and it's th um, really thin paper. Um, but I was watching Dee Dee's channel and she was using this to do a pan pastel painting on. Now I've been doing a bit of pan pastel painting myself, um, but I've been using the pastel matte paper. And I thought it would be quite nice to try this, then I can use it for other things. Because you don't just have to use... Um, you know pan pastels on this you can use pencils on this you can use water media on this and it is a really nice quality paper i've not used it yet but it feels really nice the texture of it's really lovely the thickness of it is really lovely so you get 15 sheets in this one and it's 184 pound paper 9 by 12 inches this was off amazon as well so yeah it's just got a really nice texture to it to the paper so it'll be nice to see and i think it'll go through the printer as well i think it'll go through the printer no problem so that's really nice can't wait to try that out the next thing i got so you might know if you've watched my channel that i've dabbled in a bit of art as well as coloring so i've done some pencil sketches graph graphite pencil I've done some pan pastel paintings, I've done an acrylic painting, so I thought why not have a dabble at watercolour painting? <laughs> so I've not actually tried anything yet but I did get this little mini cute little Arteza watercolour um, sketch pad. It's so cute, it's only five and a half inch by three and a half inch, £110 paper. It has two sides so it has a smooth side and a textured side to the paper and it's just super cute um, it says um, ideal for watercolour techniques and mixed media it's cold press paper acid free so it's I don't know if you'll be able to see the texture of this paper on camera but there's the textured side there's the smooth side textured side smooth side but I thought I really, really want to have a go at watercolour painting. It was actually after I'd watched Laura, Laura Rafferty's live stream. And she was doing a lovely, lovely portrait. And I just thought I really want to go. So to go with this, um, she did recommend these brushes. Now this is a watercolour brush. It's by Princeton Neptune. Let's see if it'll get it on there. Princeton Neptune round and it's a size 4. Now Laura did state that she uses her size 4 and a size 12 the most. So you can see what the tips are like. They really seem to hold the point. So these are synthetic squirrel. So as Laura said, no squirrels were killed in the making of this. <laughs> synthetic. But yeah, I'm yet to try this out. But I'm going to try it out in here. Maybe do some little flowers or something like that to try out. And to help me along the way, I got a book. So this is the book. This is Painting Animals in Watercolour. And I thought it was super sweet. Um, they had some images of what was inside the book on Amazon. And I thought if I was to do any sort of watercolouring, this is the style that I would really love to do. Animals and this style of watercolour painting. I just think it's super pretty. So you can see there's a nice cow there on that side. So in here, she teaches you drawing techniques, what you need, um, using colour and photography, composition and design, working up your sketches, fur feathers and features, watercolour, pen and wash and mixed media. So there's an introduction to everything in there. Oh, look at these. They're just so much fun. So much fun. 
so it just i don't know if it's close enough up but it does show you here this is how she sketches out her watercolor paintings so you sketch out at first just shows you step by step and i might sit there one night and just read through the book first before trying to you know draw anything set anything down how cute is that one but it's just a really nice book um it's by liz chairdeton liz chairdeton is it it says liz chairdeton is a full-time artist based in berkshire she is passionate about watercolour and enjoys sharing her discoveries through workshops and writing and written these books so yeah wish me luck with this one you might be seeing some watercolour paintings from me soon <laughs> so yeah that's that one that was my little watercolour in stash so we'll see what happens there <laughs> The next book I got was one called Birds. So it's this one here. Now I'm not 100% but I'm sure I saw this on Lucy Just Adds Colour channel. I'm not entirely sure. But I was looking for something that's a bit like the mandala type thing where it's a bit more of a mindless type colouring but I wanted more of an image rather than a mandala if that makes sense. So I came across this book and it, you know, you can see from the inside the type of work inside it so this is by Georgie Woolridge so it does give you a bit of information about the animals this is the mandarin duck there's the information and then you can colour him it is quite a large book this one as well a little owl with some flowers flamingo this one's beautiful. I love the hummingbirds. Really nice. But you see what I mean? It can easily be mindless colouring, but it's not mandalas. If you're not into mandalas, this would be really nice for you. There's lots of room for for doing a, you know, a pastel background or a distressing background on there because they are one-sided. You've obviously got your bit of information, but you're not going to spoil an image. Um... So you could use your marker pens, your alcohol markers. You're not going to ruin an image. But yeah, I might put a full flip of this up on my channel. Really pretty pages. That one's cute. A little blue tit. A Eurasian teal. But yeah. Just thought it was really different, a bit different to the mandalas and it can be like my mindless colouring sort of book. But yeah, really nice, really thick. There's quite a lot of pages in there. Like I said, it's one sided. So last but definitely not least is I got these. Now, I'm going to butcher the name of these pencils, but the Tombow pencils... Is it Irogitin? Irogitin? Not got a clue. Um, but basically, these Tombow pencils come in three lots of 30. So there's three different sets, and each set has 30 pencils inside. Really lovely packaged, actually. It looks like, like it could be a stack of books on your bookshelf, doesn't it? So pretty. So the volumes that are in this one is one, two and three. And when I get them out, you'll be able to see a bit better about what's inside here. So you get the little leaflet with it. So the ones that I've got are volume one, volume two and volume three. And they are listed on the sides. Um, they say the volumes on the side here. So it's beautiful that you already get your little swatch chart. So I've got one, two and three. And then obviously if you purchase any of the other packs, it has got the other swatches for, for the other sets as well. But I just got the one set to see if I like them. 
um, as you as you can buy them like this. I thought there's no point with buying all three sets because I might not like them. So this is called the Rainforest set, I believe. So they're all in these little boxes, which is super cute. And on here, when you open it up, it's really, really, really cute packaging. You've got all your colours listed, what's inside the box on here. So it's P1 to 10. Orchid pink, coral pink, shell pink, whatever that says. <laughs> Lettuce green, ice green, aqua, forget me not, blue lilac and pigeon grey. Really cute names. Really lovely shades in that one. So that's your volume one. Super sweet packaging. I cannot get over how cute it is. It just feels really cute. So this is number two. So there's ten pencils in each of these boxes. So in here we've got oh some lovely bright colours in this one. Cherry red, tangerine orange, dandelion, chartreuse green, parrot green, peacock blue, kingfisher, lapis lazuli, <laughs> iris violet and violet black. Really, really vibrant colours those ones. And then this is volume three. So volume three has these colours in it. Crimson, chestnut brown, autumn leaf, maple sugar, olive yellow, elm green, forest green, midnight blue, mulberry and top. So there's some really stunning colours in there. Really, really nice. So I've not swatched these out myself yet with having this, the little swatch chart already here. But yeah, I will be trying these out on the colouring page. If you're interested in knowing how they lay down, I will come back and do a separate video, separate swatching video. But yeah, really lovely. I do really love these shades here. The crimson, the chestnut brown, autumn leaf. Really pretty shades. Really pretty. So I did get these ones from Cult Pens. They arrived really, really quickly. They was the cheapest that I found. If you go on onto Amazon and look for this set, just this set of 30 pencils are around £70 on Amazon. If you go on to Cult Pens, the £48 and at the moment they've got a 10% discount off as well so I think it came to £44 um, for this set so don't get them from Amazon you'll be paying through the roof for them um, Cult Pens is your best bet for the cheapest price but yeah really really just love the really cute packaging I'm hoping and praying that I really love them when I colour with them because they're just super cute so I'm gonna pop them back in the little little house the little bookshelf house with a little swatch chart that's in there get in it doesn't want to go in so yeah, that's what I got with my Christmas money. So if anybody in my family is watching who gave me money, this is what I got with it, which was super fun. I had fun just um, brazing Amazon, you know what it's like um, at the minute. I think, I think we're all just on there all the time. You put things in your basket and then you take them out and then you, you put them into safe for later. <laughs> Or is that just me? Do you have a load of stuff in save for later and uh, wish lists? <laughs> so I'm, I'm super excited about trying this watercolour. Let me know down in the comments below if any of you have tried watercolour painting. If you've got any tips for me, um, I'd love some tips. I mean, Laura Rafferty's live stream was just amazing and I was picking up a lot from that. Um, so I thank her for that and I thank her for her input in, um, you know, telling me that this brush is an awesome brush. <laughs> so I'll be trying that out. Very excited. 
to try that out so yeah that's everything that's my christmas money spent now <laughs> so i hope you saw some things that you maybe like the look of um i'll drop all the links in the description please do give this video a thumbs up it helps my channel get seen on youtube um and thank you so much for watching see you again soon bye bye guys